How's it going everybody? Welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be going through day two of the Candido six week strength program. So with today, um, this is the second day of the program. No. Yes, second day of the program. Um, so this is the first day we're hitting bench. And with this, my one rep max that I base the program off of to start is gonna be 225. That means that for my first working set, and you'll see in the background here that I'm um, just kind of starting to warm up and just start with the bar, nice and easy, kind of work on speed, focus on that form, um, get set up, everything like that. And then I move into my first couple of working sets. Now, first off, working set and so I'm gonna have everything in the description below, all the weights that I'm doing, um, all that stuff, and the whole workout in general. So if you guys have any questions about anything, check them out down below. But moving on, I wanna touch on a few key points to how I'm performing the bench, um, particularly the specifics of how I'm performing this um, in terms of like powerlifting as opposed to a typical bodybuilder style bench press. Um, so if you notice, it's all in how I'm setting up and then kind of how I'm getting prepped for the movement. So you notice I'm keeping a really, really strong arch in my lower back and then I'm driving through my legs. So I'm pulling my legs back under me as far as I can. And if you also see like in this clip, I've actually got my um, squat shoes on. And the reason for that is because they have an elevated heel, which means that I can pull my legs further under me, still keeping them firmly planted flat on the floor. Because if you look at any kind of powerlifting regulations, I mean, not necessarily that I'm doing anything, any kind of powerlifting competition, but generally there's three things um, that you have to have in contact with the bench at all times. One being your um, head and shoulders, two being your lower back or your butt has to be stay in contact with the bench throughout the entire uh, lift. And three is your feet have to be flat on the floor. Now, some regulations and federations are a little bit different. You can have your heels elevated as long as your feet stay on the ground. However, it just kind of varies. Personally, for me, I prefer to keep my feet as flat as possible so that I'm able to use as much leg drive to uh, force my way through the movement and focus on the form as opposed to elevating my heels. I don't feel like I get as much power um, through my lower portion of my body into the movement. Hopefully that makes sense. But anyway, like I was saying today, it started off with bench. First set was 115 for, I believe, 12 reps, something like that. Um, like I said, exact reps and weight will be down below in the description. But second set jumped up like 20 pounds, no, 35 pounds, up to 150 for I think 10 reps. Third set was 170 for eight reps. And then as you can see here, this is my last set at 175 for six reps. Um, now, something else you'll notice is my hand position. So especially if you look at this angle here, this is a great angle to see how wide my hand position is. With a typical bodybuilder based um, form, you're gonna have your hands in maybe a little bit more narrow, and oh, here we go, this is my last set. Um, you're gonna have your hands a little bit more narrow for more of a bodybuilder um, style of bench press form versus powerlifting. It's all about kind of reducing your range of motion. Now, for me, Yes, I am focusing more on bodybuilding. However, I'm also focusing more on strength um, for these three main compound lifts, squat, bench, and deadlift. So that's why I'm transitioning my form more towards powerlifting as opposed to bodybuilding, simply because with that, that's gonna be the optimal um, form for moving as much weight as possible. And with that, that's all about overloading the muscle. Um, so with this, we're not necessarily focusing on time under tension. We're focusing more on overloading the muscle, which is why we're doing more of a strength-based powerlifting program as opposed to a hypertrophy-based bodybuilding program. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. Like I said, if you have any questions, don't hesitate. Leave them down below in the description. And I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. But moving on, after we finished our bench press, then I moved into bent over barbell rows. Um, so like I said, if you looked at this particular program, you'll notice that there's quite a few of like ex accessory movements um, that he recommends doing. And for me, I like to kind of fill it in with what I prefer to do, not necessarily what he recommends. So first movement for me is gonna be bent over barbell rows. Then we're gonna move into a few other exercises before calling it a day. Um, 
as I kind of mentioned in the last video, these movements should, if you want to perform this uh, whole program the way it's meant to be performed, they should be accessory movements that are designed to help increase, excuse me, the three main lifts. So your squat, your bench, or your dead, um, deadlift. So for example, if you wanted to focus on an accessory movement um, around the bench press, you could do things like a pin press. You could do things like, um, um, what is it called? Block presses, um, slingshot overloads, which we'll get into later on in the program. Um, things like that, basically different movements that are gonna focus on different portions of the bench press to act as an accessory movement to the overall bench press. Hopefully that makes sense. But for me, I'm focusing more on hypertrophy once I finish off with the main strength portion of the workout. So I'm doing things like bent over rows, barbell curls, dumbbell curls, tricep extensions, things that more isolate uh, muscle groups as opposed to um, trying to continue tying into bench squat or dead. Um, overall, my goal is primarily more focused around hypertrophy, so I'm not focusing as much on strength, even though I am trying to increase my three main lifts. Kind of contradictory there, but whatever. Once we finished off with that, then we move into a barbell overhead press. Now with this, um, again, all of these sets and reps will be down below in the description. So if you're unsure of anything at any time, go down below and take a look at that. But with this one, you can see I've got my belt on. Um, a big tip to this particular movement, and you'll see kind of my form as we go through all three or four sets that I performed, but a big one is you wanna be taking uh, your head and your shoulders, and as you're driving the bar over your head and bringing it up, you wanna drive your head forward and under the bar. What that's gonna do is that's gonna allow your shoulders and your um, arms to put the weight in a more optimal position so you're not like keeping it way out here, it's not coming super far behind you, anything like that. It's gonna stay nice and stacked over your elbows and in line with your shoulders throughout the entire range of motion as much as possible. And when you come down, come down as close as you can to your chin and your nose, nice full range of motion if you can, and then drive it back up. That's how you're gonna get the most power and proper form out of this movement. Um, hand position really depends on how you like to perform this movement. Some people will bring their hands pretty close in to where they're like pretty much right at their elbows. Um, and they're gonna keep their elbows more in front of their body as they're driving up. So it's gonna be more of a from here up and in versus what I prefer to do is a little bit wider grip to where my forearms are basically staying vertical throughout the entire range of motion. As you can kind of see, this was actually, this lift right now, a little bit narrow for what I like. Um, still kind of playing around with my grip because I haven't done this movement a lot uh, recently. So just kind of playing around with it. But if you haven't done this before, I would definitely recommend keeping the weight light, focus on your form first, and just kind of feel out different hand positions. See what feels best, what's most comfortable to you, and then kind of go from there. Um, you definitely will notice that in certain positions, you're gonna be a lot stronger versus, say, if you start going a little more narrow, you're gonna tend to be a lot stronger because you're gonna recruit a lot more tricep um, as you're driving the weight up versus if you come out wider, you're gonna be focusing a little more emphasis on the front delt and lateral delt. So you're gonna be driving through your shoulders more, which is one reason I prefer to go a little bit wider grip. Helps isolate and focus those shoulders. Now, once we finish off with the overhead press, moving into pull-ups. <laughs> so pull-ups are, I have a love-hate relationship with pull-ups. Um, Starting off, you can see I do pretty good. I went with a more neutral grip position. Um, and then as you'll see with the next couple sets, I decided to change it up, go to a more traditional pull-up grip and width, uh, just because these, I was feeling it more in my biceps versus my lats, just because of the angle of the grips. Um, but pull-ups, like I said, I've got a love-hate relationship with pull-ups. Um, some days I'll be able to knock out four sets of 10. Other days, like today, I got 12 reps on the first set. Second set, I think I got eight and then like two forced reps. Third set, I got like six. And then the last set, I got four. So yeah, pull-ups are definitely one place where <laughs> doesn't matter how often I do them. 
still hate them, but I'm going to keep working at them. I'm going to try and improve. The goal by the end of this program, by the end of the six weeks, is to be able to do consistently four sets of 10 reps with like a 30 to 45 second rest. And I know that I'll be able to get there because it's just a matter of doing them um, on a daily, or well, not a daily, but on a weekly basis, which I haven't been doing. I prefer to do more isolation movements, um, especially through a cutting phase. But if you do them consistently, they're kind of like push-ups. They're one of those movements where the more you perform them, the better you'll get at them, the stronger you'll get at them, and the more you'll be able to perform um, in terms of reps. So yeah, love-hate relationship. It is what it is. It's definitely definitely i will not deny one of the better back building movements i just like i said i don't particularly like them not for any particular reason just because i don't like them so i tend not to do them i tend to do other exercises instead now once we finished with that moving on we're going to hit some close grip bench press or at least this is what i did uh so the difference and you'll see kind of as we go through this is my hand position. So with the standard bench press, the more power lifting, I'm basically taking my index fingers, so these guys here are my pointer fingers, and if you notice on the bar, you've got those power rings, the Olympic rings on them, and I'm basically lining up my index finger with that ring, and then uh, and then from there, so the index, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> on the standard more um, traditional bench for the power lifting form like I was saying I line up my index fingers with those rings however when I do close grip I basically take my pinkies and I line them up with the rings so I'm basically bringing my hands in one whole width of my hand um, for the close grip so that's a lot different from what most people consider close grip where when you think of close grip, a lot of people tend to think of, oh, you got to have your hands like all the way in here, basically having your thumbs touching each other. And I used to think that way, but it's definitely not the case. If you go from taking a really wide position bench press, um, which is what I'm doing now on my standard bench press, to just moving it in, like I said, about four or five inches, the width of your hand, you're going to notice a shift in where the emphasis is being placed. So you're gonna transition that weight from your chest to more of your tricep, which is our goal. Um, now, there are a couple other things to focus on with this. First of all, as you're bringing your grip in closer, you're gonna be lowering the bar lower on your chest. So you notice here I'm coming down to basically just below um, my nipple line, basically just below the bottom of my chest, kind of that top portion of my rib cage. Like, I don't know if you guys can see, but kind of like all the way down here versus a typical bench, I'm coming down to basically right about nipple level, if not a little bit higher. So it's all depending upon the uh, type of movement that you're doing and what muscle group you're trying to hit. Now, once I finished that, did one more tricep exercise as you can see here, cable extensions. Goal with this one was to do, um, what was it, like three sets of eight to 12, I think, but I started out a little bit light on the weight and I did like 15 to 20 reps. So increase the weight, did another set, increase the weight, did another set. Just do whatever you're comfortable with. If you feel like the weight was way too light, treat it as a warm-up set, and then do three additional sets at a more proper and appropriate weight. If the weight's way too heavy, just do as many as you can with good form. Or if you know you're not gonna be able to get more than like three or four, don't try and muscle through a heavy weight that you know you're not comfortable doing. Drop the weight down immediately and start doing something that's more appropriate to the rep range that we're trying to hit. Um, that applies to basically any movement that you're doing. Helps avoid injury, helps you hit your goals, and basically helps you stay healthy and helps you stay happy. <laughs> um, but yeah, with this, big key to this movement is you wanna focus on keeping your triceps tight from the very top of the movement. So from, from even before I'm starting to extend my arms, I'm focusing on tightening the back end of my triceps, so that top portion of it, tighten all the way up into there, and then extend, lock it out at the bottom, hold that contraction, and then come all the way back up. And basically think of it like you're doing a curl. You wanna try and collapse that arm as much as possible and squeeze your forearm 
into your bicep. So squeeze that and that's gonna get a nice stretch all the way through your triceps. Hopefully the mic's not cutting out too much. I was just blocking it there. But yeah, full range of motion. That's how you're gonna get those to grow. That's how you're gonna get um, good solid development in your triceps is full range of motion. Once I finish with that, hit some biceps here. So just standing alternate dumbbell curls, nothing too crazy. Big tip with this is if you really wanna focus on that contraction, Pinkies, pull from your pinkies. So as you're curling up, think of pulling from your pinky, rotate your hand up and out a little bit. And what that's gonna do is it's basically gonna put the emphasis on your bicep a little bit more, especially on this inner head of the bicep. You're gonna get a little tighter contraction um, when you rotate that. So I mean, even right now, if you just wanna try it, take your arm, bend your elbow at a 45 degree angle, and then just rotate your wrist. You can even see right there. So my, the second I start rotating my wrist in and like I'm pulling from my pinky, look at my bicep. It just tightens and contracts a little bit harder, even just doing this. So yeah, that's just the one simple tip to help you increase your um, muscle contraction on your biceps. Overall, day two, pretty good, feeling good. Looking forward to the next couple of days and the next or the rest of this program. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video so far. As always, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, more videos like this coming at you soon. And I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.